Drop sets. Should you utilize them? When should you do them? Let's quickly cover this. Now, drop sets are essentially just when you perform one set, then upon completion of that set, immediately without rest, you reduce the load and go right back into doing another set. Now, you may be thinking, well, isn't that just doing two sets? Yes, that is exactly it, except you're just not resting between them. And mind you, you're not extending the first set. You're not going past failure. It is a second set with no rest. Now, if you were to stick to the old-fashioned straight sets, you'd simply just do the set and rest long enough to allow for another high-quality, hypertrophically stimulative set. In both of these approaches, you're doing two sets and going close to or to failure, though the only difference is that in the drop set approach, the second set will create a smaller growth stimulus, because we aren't resting between sets, meaning the drop set approach will net less gains. This is because poor recovery via minimal or no rest going into a set will lead to less overall motion recruitment and thus less fibers active generating force simply due to more central nervous system fatigue. So straight sets will be best, but drop sets can still be used to limit session duration for longer workouts or just for fun, which is why I do them lots myself. As always, make sure you like and follow for more productive training.